Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the PLC login when you're trying to access into the web visualization. The easiest way is to disable the user rights on the PLC, but probably it's not the best, so you have lower security on the PLC. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to disable the, the PLC login so you can get access directly to the web visualization without asking any users. So you can work without any users or use the users that you have defined only for the web visualization. Okay, so let's go to the application. Here I have this application. Okay, I have created a web visualization to access into here. What I'm going to do now is to connect into the PLC just to show you that it asked me for the PLC login, okay? Administrator, administrator, just the default that I have. Yes. Okay. So as you can see, I log into the controller. So now if I open one Um, okay, so let's access into the web visualization. HTM. Uh, there we go. So it asks me for the user rights. Administrator, and this one is the one that you use on the security of the user. Okay, so what we can do, let's close this. We can create into, just go back here, device tree. Mm -hmm. In order to access directly into the control, into the web visualization, what we need to do is to define a file in the visu. Okay, here, just go back here, Explorer. creating here okay what we need to do is to create an empty file with this name over here indicating that we don't need any login so what I'm going to do is to right click text document I'm going to delete this completely and create this file perfect so what we need to do is to move this file into this folder that we have in Visu, which is inside here. This is all the information inside the PLC. We just need to go to the Visu and move the file that I had created. In my case, is in D. So I'm going to select this and move it over here. Perfect. It's an empty file, nothing in there. All we need to do is to now I'm going to log out of the PLC. Perfect, security log off. Now what we need to do from the controller is to reboot. So let me just show you. This is the controller. So I'm going to reboot the controller. Remove the power supply. Okay, just wait for this to finish. See when this is ready. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now it's back alive. So now what we need to do is to open the web visualization that we have. So just to show you, let me just connect to the controller. It asked me for the credentials. Okay. Administrator, administrator. 
login. Okay, so now I'm going to log out. I'm going to log off of the device. Okay, now let's try to log in into the web server, into the web visualization. 251, 8080. And there we go. We have directly access into the web visualization without asking any other information. Okay, so what we need to do basically is to create this file over here with this name. So we can tell the web visualization that we are not going to use the device uh, user login, which is the one that I use in order to log in into the controller. Okay, simple as that. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.